Hello. Great thing about cows, just persistent lumps of, yes, cow, cow, cats, huge ones. I used to live with this family when I was about 14 oh, for a please, while. Please don't subject them to this. <laughs> and the dad was like really sort of outdoorsy. He was the kind that woke you up in the middle of the night and took you for a midnight walk, which was great. That was like fun and hilarious. Sounds but, like Jimmy Savile to me. <laughs> yeah, but one of his um, not so fun games was he used to take you to a field where there was like cow pats where they'd all dried and then he would pick them up in his hand and he would throw them at you and you had to run really fast not to get hit it was the most disgusting game ever I used to run really fast I never got hit but his kids did cow pat frisbee <laughs> yeah cow pat frisbee game you play well, some weird games in I Yorkshire I did not like <laughs> I did not like this game I did not appreciate this game and he never let you walked out it was just kind of that's what their family did and you joined in <laughs> do you want to go no that's all wet <laughs> We're trying to head down to a, there's a ruin some, somewhere on this uh, embankment, a bit further up. So uh, we're on the hunt for that. Don't know if it's campable or not, but a beautiful area and it's, uh, it's sunny. It's lovely. So every time you see a cow pat, you're going you're gonna to instantly think of Zoe, aren't you? Yeah, running for my life. <laughs> That's quite nice. Just going to uh, have a look at the top of this waterfall here. Oh, that's a bit of a, a fall down there. There's a right here. It's like a chasm down there. Going for a swim? It's like steps, isn't it? Yeah, it's a big drop down there. It's probably a 40 foot drop down to the bottom. I like to go uh, gorge scrambling down there. So I've come a bit further and um, the problem is looking for this uh, mine ruin is it's down the edge of the valley somewhere and I don't think there's any paths down to it so it's uh, it's a bit like the blind leading the blind here. Yes, you can't actually see down. No signal, so Google Maps doesn't work. I did download an offline version but it doesn't go when you zoom in it doesn't go into enough detail to um, to find it so hmm bit of an interesting one. So decided to go for it, we're going to head down just through the grass, trying to avoid the ferns, heading down, hopefully it's like down there but may not be, I don't know. <laughs> right, I can see a ruin down there, might look a bit far away on camera but um, I think that's definitely it, I just, I don't think anyone's been to this for years which is one of the reasons why I want to go to it because there's, there's no paths is there, um, no. not that we know of. Um, but it looks like somewhere that might be a good place to camp. So uh, yeah, definitely looks like it, but whether we can whether we can get to it, I do not know. So it's not the most easiest of routes. I think we might have to cross a, a river and go through some ferns, but I don't know, it looks promising. If you don't explore these um, off the beaten track sort of places, you don't get to see anywhere new, do you? Not that, you know, sort of place that not many people would have come to, which is uh, gives it a great appeal to us. Ah, oh, shit. Big drop down there. Oh, rabbit. just a bunny rabbit. Yeah, there's heathers, pretty, that'll be pretty. So, um, yeah, we definitely found some ruins. It's just, just a case of uh, getting down this gorge, crossing a bit of a river, and um, going to see the sheep. You go first, let me know how you get on. Christ, camera never does this sort of thing justice, does it? No. It's uh, it's head height now with Zoe, and it's uh, it's really steep. Yeah, so much avoiding the ferns. They're like literally over my head now. <laughs> Just have to uh, brush ourselves down afterwards. <laughs> it's funny. You in there, Zoe, somewhere? Yeah. I've, I've lost I can't, I can't even see you, you're oh, over, up there somewhere. <laughs> Big boulder there. Oh, there's a nice clear bit now, nice grassy bit down, so that's good. Well, that was fun. Not head height, all that was. Just brushing herself off with... Uh, I mean, it, is, it is fun, but it's just the tick element, isn't it? Otherwise, it is actually fun. <laughs> Everything we wear um, is treated with permethrin. Yep. We, uh, we make a habit of doing that. I know it's uh, it's not 100% foolproof, but we do have smidge as well. So 
combination of the two does cut the risk down but so there we are there's a little ruin one of them i think it's more yeah so this was an Whoa, old mine look at that over there a nice flat grass bit yes cool so what you say it was an old mine yeah an old mine um but like i said i don't think anyone sort of comes down here because there's no actual path down here it's just sort of been abandoned and forgotten it's beautiful up here it's gloriously warm and Oh, for some reason I was expecting it to be flat on the inside <laughs> and thinking I could camp in there, but no. It's full little, of rubble. Little, little river. Water? Who good? That's good. Nice. Don't, don't have to go up for water now. Nice shaft. Yeah. Oh, can maybe explore, but it's very wet. Ah, oh, so now we're talking. Look at this. Nice plush, <laughs> plush grass. And that's, uh, that's relatively flat, isn't it? Yeah. Nice lake, it's got that weird mossy stuff in it's like quite spongy. spongy. And the water runs right down. Look at the water, it's right down here. Fresh water. Oh, this is a good camp. My leg hurts. Well, it's kind of coming out of a mine shaft, but oh, yeah. this was mined a couple of hundred years ago, so the chances, you know, with it being lead contaminated are, are very, uh, very low. But we have got a filter that filters out heavy metals, so um, yeah, it's nice. Some more ruins over there, so. I think we'll just go have a take a bags off, have a bit of an explore, and um, have a drink, as in an alcoholic drink. What do you reckon? Yeah. What are you bending over for. Got some that's hurting my leg. Uh, I got stung by a nettle. Stung? Yeah. yeah, I did pass some nettles, but oh, get these bags off. I'm packing 11 kilograms, and Zoe's nine today. Ten. Ten. Wish it was nine. <laughs> so if we go over this section over here, we've got the peat stars. There we go. Down, but they go all the way along. Yeah, all the way along there, look. Quite nice though. Nice. Good thing is, you won't get people walking through. No, it. at all. No, nobody. Because as you've just seen, you, you have to clamber through that lot. Through that. Yeah, these ones are very collapsed. <laughs> Quite uh, fallen down, these here. But yeah, you can still see what they were, which is good. Oh, and if we wander down here. Flat spot we can there. see another building down here. I wonder what that was. Oh, that's got a little archy doorway at the bottom down there. Look, oh, right. it's a tiny little arch. It's, it's that slippy, slippy box. Yeah, just go steady. <laughs> well, <laughs> skiing. Right, so there's, don't think there's a tunnel. No, no. There. Not sure what this is. Oh, it's just an arch. Maybe there was a tunnel. Might Maybe be. it's just all. Uh, Filled in. That looks like a massive pizza shape. So some sort of big build. I'm not really yeah. sure what it was, but um, if I have a look down the bottom there, there might be uh, more camping spots. I think we're I think we're settled on the top spot though, because yeah, it's uh, top spot looks it, it looks nice. But yeah, I mean you could you could pitch up here as well, or down here rather. And then uh, then you've got the the river right down the bottom there. That's quite a trek. Wow, imagine if you got a sledge. This is, uh, I wish I could get, give you a sense of scale how big and steep this is, but that's, um, well you see, see the sheep over there? It's a um, it's hell of a, hell of a slope. That'd be ace on a, oh she's gone. <laughs> That'd be ace on a sledge. <laughs> oh, there she is there, look. How big the arch is. <laughs> yeah. I tried, but I got stuck. <laughs> For some reason, I like this little river. It's just so sunny, and it's got that spongy, spongy little grass. It just looks really cute running through the grass and all the way down. Don't know why I like it. I'm just highly delighted there's water up here. <laughs> it's drink time. Drink. Yeah, not water either. <laughs> no, Bacardi and Dr Pepper. I have. What have I got? I've got apple juice and rum in there. My apple juice is my new thing. Oh, it's nice on a hot day. Yeah, mine's in a nice little flask that so should still be cold. Yay! <laughs> Nature's fridge. Huh. It's nice and chilly, that is. Is it cold? I don't know yeah, it's really it. cold. Oh, it is cold as well. I'd laugh if it just floated off down there and then off the edge. You wouldn't because you'd be, you'd <laughs> it, be uh, going down to get it. It'd go right down there and then all the way down to the bottom. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good little stream. I love it. It's so cute. I like this whole place because it's got spongy, nice little grass with the moss in and a pretty little river and a ruin. It's got everything I like. 
The only thing that would make this place better, a bet, and Zoe will agree, it was if I was naked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's four o'clock now. Don't know what time we come. What time did we come? No idea, but the sun's gone in. Not happy. Look, jackets on now after it's so hot. We've as just well. we've just been talking clothing really. Um, Snug Pack SJ3, I think it is really good for this time of year. Um, Zoe's got a decathlon, decathlon non-down jacket. Yeah, non-down. That again is a summer installation. And we're talking mm. about trousers as well. So um, you might have seen, best not share my crutch, because last time I did that, yeah. <laughs> the video got, this thumbnail got removed from YouTube. Yeah, and because, the trousers on. Um, the regatta height and men's, the, the stretch that way. And they uh, dry exceptionally quick. And I'm featuring, <laughs> like it's a fashion show, um, yes, Mountain Warehouse. These are like blackout leggings but they were like breathable and they don't absorb the moisture so they dry really fast which is good Black, and stretchy blackout and they don't show your bottom when you bend over oh yeah because if you've ever bought pr leggings primark from leggings. primark when you bend over you can see everything that trust, trust sound, me that I've, makes it sound like you wear primark leggings now. no it means that when you've <laughs> bent over i've literally seen everything um <laughs> so as you might be able to tell, Zoe's nearly finished uh, her alcohol. One. one. I finished my first one, but we, we've got so two. In actual fact, you beat me then. Two more. Got two more in the river. So we're <laughs> keeping cold. I tell you, that water coming out the Thank side you. of the mountain or the, the hill is really cold. So uh, it's not going to be long before Zoe's uh, finished that one and on to the next one. Yes. Piss head. <laughs> Says you who finished before me. <laughs> the little gits are out now. Midges. Smidge for you. <laughs> We're not sponsored by Smidge. It's just really good though, we've always used this. It is really good. After trying the, um, what's that really crap one? Um, Deet. Deet. This yeah. um, Deet's not a patch oh, on this. What was that horrible one that we got when we were on holiday and you sprayed it and you just about died and choked to death because it was so frozen. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, don't know what that was, but um, very good. Not just with midges, but ticks and all sorts of stuff. It's, uh, I think from what someone tells me, it's like an anaesthetic to bugs so they kind of crawl on you fall asleep drop off and uh, yeah they still live so um, stop you getting bit definitely yeah can you rub some on my balls please <laughs> no you mean no <laughs> all right so i think we're gonna get the tent out now stick it up it's um it's about half five i think it's quite early to get a tent out but we haven't seen a person in hours yes it's it might look flattish on video but it's not you know not room for lots of tents it's, it's quite bumpy but we have found a reasonably so we're gonna we're gonna stick it there and um, see what occurs. So tent-wise tonight we're in the Nature Hike Cloud Tunnel. Pack size there of the fly sheet and inner. Zoe's got the poles there. Okay. Um, really big bedroom on this. And after the last camp where we slept in that 3F UL that was um, more than tight. It's very very small. Did not feel like repeating that experience. Uh, we're looking for something roomier tonight, I think. So uh, here it goes. Insert tent here. Boom. There we go. Do like this tent. It's not the lightest tent in the world. 2.6 kilograms, but between two people, it's. Uh, but I'll tell you what, it's got a massive bedroom, hasn't it? It has. Yeah. It's really you roomy know. and really high, and it's yeah. really nice colour as well. I think. Good See. Size. As well. Yeah, blends in well. That that front section from the pole to the easy porch, you can either use that as a door, that as a door canopy, or that as a door. So it's quite uh, quite multifunctional. So yeah, it's uh, it's not a bad sized porch on this. It's a big porch. I think you'd cook all right if you was in the bedroom and yeah, uh, easily. It'd look bigger if so we sat down, but I think the grass might be a bit damp. But um, <laughs> yeah, it's not a bad size for. Not as good as the Apolis, but the bedroom feels a lot bigger in this. Yeah, there's plenty of room in it. It's good for like all weathers, really. So Zoe's having, what are you just poured in there? Yeast flakes, because they taste a bit like cheese. So she's having cheesy rice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having rice and it's got salsa mixed in it, but just a little bit because it's really spicy, even though it's a mild one. Cool. And Gareth's cooking burgers in foil. Yeah, these are pre-cooked, frozen, and then done on camp with some sauce of some sort <laughs> spicy sauce and cheese slice in a wrap yeah like that easy to do <laughs> and light yeah so there it is all cooked well let's hope it's cooked let's hope it's cooked yes i'm glad you might be running somewhere running where toilet all oh, right <laughs> 
Lovely. Yes. You saying lovely for you? You're vegetarian. Oh, yeah, I am not eating it, but it's lovely for you. Screw you, mozzies. They're uh, the smidges working a treat, but mm. you, can, you can still feel them crawling on you. Yeah, they keep hitting you in the face, don't they? So one of us uh, was sensible. Mine's under your pant drawer. Under my pant drawer? Yeah. <laughs> if you don't want them to dig in your garden, just make sure you give them enough exercise. <laughs> what are you doing there, Zoe? Another stone bit, look. I'm unearthing. <laughs> You're doing a bit of archaeology, are you? Yeah. So we've, we've just come over here, actually, the, um, the tents the tents up there, but we're trying to get away from the midges. A few's come over here now, but just, there's just, oh. so he's getting bit. <laughs> so yeah, there's just loads of little blighters. Um, there is still some here. It's not really, I don't think we've really been bit. They're just annoying because it's just like really on your skin, annoying. but um, just got to keep moving. Got to love the insects, eh? Right, this is a bit mad. Um, this mine shaft building has probably been here, I don't know, 150, 200, 250 years. Now, how long do you think these uh, stones have been placed on here? Look at the colour difference underneath, and they're all like it. Long, long time, I'm guessing. Look at this grass. Look at it. Look how bouncy it is. That's where you want to sleep bouncy on. Grass, Our grass yeah. is quite like that. O over there. Yeah, over there it is. Yeah. Not at home. I wish it was like this at home. It's kind of like that at home. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting rather dark now. Um, just to like lit that. Say so lit it, just turn it on. Um, hoping all the bugs go vroom, and away from us. So uh, it's a long shot. What are you doing? Putting a new battery in my camera. Oh, new battery. Oh, so, uh, yeah, we're going to have to turn on to filming lighting now. So we've stood around a couple of rocks with a light underneath it. I think we're just pretending, you know, we're stood around a fire or something, really. Not quite sure what we're doing, in fairness. Just chilling. <laughs> just chilling. Ah, <laughs> it's you, very... ruin, you ruin my night vision. I know, it's very dark out here. I could see down the bottom of the valley, but... You can just see the silhouette of the hills, but... You can't really see much of anything else. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be too much longer um, to, to, <laughs> till we're in bed. It's my turn, isn't it, to do this in your face? <laughs> there we go. Hey, back. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I'm not sure what time it is, but um, beds are beds are beckoning them, beckoning them, becking. Becking. Us. Yeah, I've had too much to drink, but we haven't <laughs> we haven't pumped the beds up yet, so. Because um, of the midges. Yeah. When we're going in there is when we're going to bed, so we're... we're staying in there then. Yes, staying in there. Yes. Yeah, we've got a little fire going there. Well, no, we haven't really. Before you put the thumbs down, it's uh, it's just a lantern. It's really damp out here now. You really what? <laughs> it is really damp out here Oh, now. yes, it is, the yes. The really wet. Everything's wet. Yes, everything is wet. I think we're just getting wet standing here. Yeah. So on the outside, it's probably... Yeah, similar it's, on the inside. It's wet on we've the inside, we've yeah. not even been in it yet. So. No, you can see it glistening. Yeah, we're going in. It's just a damp evening. It's just one of those evenings. Oh. Hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we've come in and um, realised that we've not pumped the beds up. Well, that's because we couldn't get in the tent because of the midges. Yeah, well, I forgot briefly, and the uh, sleeping bags are still away. You were very disappointed when you got in and found your bed wasn't made up. Do you know what? <laughs> I, might, I might invest in one of those little air bed pump things and then make you carry it. No, I'm not carrying any weight. No, yeah. they're not too bad, are they, these? No, I think they're all right. Like, they seem pumpable. Right, so we're on the X ped mats tonight. Probably going to be far too warm and one tigress down sleeping bags. Um, good combo, very comfy. Keeps Zoe happy because she's very yes. warm on the mat. I like being warm on the mat. Uh, you have to fluff them up. Um, Not the mats, the, the sleeping sleep, bags. The sleeping bags. <laughs> um, yeah, right, so right, right, we're going to bed and uh, we'll, we'll see you in the morning. See you in the morning. Good morning. Good morning, Zoe. Hi. Sleep all right? It's cold. <laughs> it's cold. I was too warm. I had my sleeping bag undone most of the night. It's seven o'clock at the minute. Um, I got up just before six for a wee, got back into bed, laid down, and then I heard a bloke talk, and I was like, 
where's that bike? So it's coming for. I thought it was coming uh, coming down here. It must have been on the path either right up there or it was hard to tell or over there. But I thought, oh shit, someone's coming down. But he didn't. And then I thought, relaxing. Then the the gr is it the grass? It's the grass, isn't it? Go making a racket right next to my head, right next to the tent, made me jump. I know when I came out to the so, loop. Be before you did early in the morning they were just like down here like on the grass and as I climbed out the tent they flew off <laughs> yeah little gits there's a few mozzies about so um, what we're going to do make a brew neither of us bought any breakfast and um, have a pack up and I think we're going to try and head somewhere down there it's very steep but um, it's either that or climb back through all those ferns and up to the path so I think we'll we'll take a different route back but yeah brews first I think. So fuel wise on this trip bioethanol with a BCB stove but I bought two of these stand these up straight oh. and I cooked my tea which was two burgers and I've only only used that much out of 100 ml bottle so you never use as much as you think you'll use. Lovely jubbly. So I've, I've sacked the sachets off take it in a bottle now so this, uh, I think this was for McDonald's actually, you know when you get the orange, so it's just um, coffee mate, sugar and coffee mixed up and then you just do a couple of teaspoons, um, well I actually do three teaspoons in that cup of mixture and the uh, jobs are good and then it goes inside my little little bag there, my little snack bag. Uh, tent's absolutely sopping though, it's uh, wet inside and out even before we set foot in it last night. Just that time of year, I'm afraid. So you just gotta suck it up and deal with it. But um, yeah, nice, nice roomy tent, isn't it? Oh yeah, there's plenty of room in there, yeah. Just noticed in the mud here, look, there's some deer prints. So there must be deers kicking about in all that somewhere. All right, so tent's away. Just there, it's that little bag. Um, yeah, just a dry spot. Like I said yesterday, that's probably the only really flat-ish sort of spot. You could get a one-man tent in one of the dips, but you'd have to... You'd be in a dip, Yeah, you'd have to lay in a bit of a... Which is, you know, it'd be all right for a one-man tent, but yeah. two of you. Um, you could probably put a tent there, maybe a tent down here. But, yeah, it's a nice little spot. It's a nice little spot. So we're going to go now, down there. Um, you might want to carry on watching, because we might die. There is a bit of a cliff down the bottom. We knew that because we rolled a stone down the side and it rolled down, disappeared and then shot out from underneath. So there is a... Yeah, I don't know quite how high I suspect is. there's a kind of a cliff like there is there, this side, but we can't see it from here. We know it's there, but... I'm going to have a look anyway. Just got to be careful. Midges are out still, little blighters. Right, bags on. So we're ready for the off, bags yep. on. Yep, leaving what we consider one of uh, the Yorkshire Dales hidden gems yeah it's a beautiful spot absolutely perfect no one about which is always what you want when you're wild camping bring smidge yeah definitely bring smidge lots of midges um so here we're taking this little route down nice little grassy path for now, yes, for now. <laughs> not quite sure at the bottom but we'll see what it looks like when we get down there but worst we just have to like climb back up again isn't it and go a different route so it's been digging there yeah they have yeah there's a lot of rabbits about and stuff though that's yeah, a big yeah, rabbit hole yeah, yeah, there. there's the deer prints, more of them. Yeah, well, it soon turned into slippy, rocky mud. Oh, it's really steep. <laughs> it is really steep. Look at it. This is what we're coming down. <laughs> it's wet as well, so it's kind of annoyingly slippy. There's a side angle. Look, you can just walk by, Zoe. Slide by. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's very yeah, steep. This mud is actually slippy. It is. You wouldn't want to fall because you'd just keep going. Do you feel like the stones were through down? <laughs> yes, yeah, so it pretty much all looks like this now. Just scrambling down rocks that move beneath your feet, which is always fun on a very steep hill now. Oh, sorry. <laughs> there goes one. <laughs> I'm getting hit from behind. <laughs> right, so getting a bit nearer to the bottom. Um, that is a it's a hell of a climb down. Yeah, it's not for the faint hearted, it's all loose rocks and they just slip underneath you. <laughs> really, really steep, but as we get nearer to the edge, it looks like there's a a drop off. I don't know if you can tell from the camera movements there, which I was hoping there kind of wasn't because uh, it means we might have to go back up again. So I'm hoping we can actually, oh, 
<laughs> just slipped there. I'm hoping we can can get down there. I'm hoping it's not as uh, as cliffy as that bit. Yeah, so down a bit further and it, it kind of looks like going back over that side of the rivers. Still steep, but it's doable. It's absolutely lovely down here though, really nice. Like I said, I don't think anyone comes down here really because it's not really, it's not at, at that it's accessible. Like it's like all the moss in it and little waterfalls. I don't care about moss. I do. <laughs> right, so the plan is, since we can't, there is no path, it is just a case of like, make your way over the river somehow and down. Yeah, we've got to get down the river because the path yeah. is, the path is right up that side and right up that side. Yeah, so there, the paths are high up. But so, uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. Nice pull down here. There is, isn't there? That'd be nice on a hot day, be able to come down and go swimming. Yeah, that's quite nice. Right, do you want to hold my hand? Oh. <laughs> Right, uh, let me move back. In case you fall in, I want to catch it. I mean, I want to catch you. Yeah. It's easy when you don't have a pack on, isn't it? It's when you've got like the extra weight and a slight tip and you're, you're over. Yeah. You really have to check the balance when climbing. Right, we've got two choices. We either try and climb, clamber up that steep bit, it looks like a, a deer trail, or we take the river. I say river. I say river. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Gotta be careful, it's uh, slippy in places. Oh, weird, look at that. That's weird because we saw some oily that's looking. Oil. Yeah, that's. Um, yeah. I wonder what that's seeping out from. Yeah, I said it must have been actual oil somewhere. We saw that up the top near yeah. camp, so how bizarre. It must be, I don't know, it must be coming out of something. And answers in the comments. Mm. Here, Zoe, do you know what I see when I look at all that? Water slide. Yes, <laughs> definitely a water Look slide. Look at that though, that was, yeah. it's quite smooth, that was quite fun. Yeah, we're going to have to come back here and yeah. have a slide into those rocks head first. I'll tell you what, coming this way is much more enjoyable than uh, walking up on the boring path. What do you reckon? Yeah, I like to climb down a river. You might have a swim in the river if you fall. Oh, what a pull that is for swimming. That is, uh, yeah, that is fantastic. One at the top as well, but... Oh, man. I need to come back here in summer. It's quite deep, actually, down there. Oh, it is, isn't it? It's quite deep. I can't even see the bottom. That would be good. Another little waterfall there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Coming back here, it's lots going to tell you the exact location of this spot. <laughs> yeah, you could probably pitch over there as well. Yeah, definitely uh, one of the Yorkshire Dales, little gems that one. 100% coming back here when it's warm again. Right, we've uh, yeah, we've got to try and, it's a bit of a scramble, it's not easy at all, but uh, worth it. So it just keeps getting better. Look at this nice, beautiful, massive grass patch. And another waterfall right next to it. Oh, this is lovely. Look at this. Waterfall and another one, and a massive pool, and another waterfall. That's so cool. Yeah, it's just so pretty down here. Another big deep pool down there. It's nice, just uh, just one beautiful spot after another, really. Love it. We don't get excited about many things. You know, when we're out, but this is uh, when you Anytime find. Anytime you find water, yeah. Yeah, when you find when you find that spot, then uh, yeah, super excited to come back. So, if you have enjoyed watching this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. It'll be very, very much appreciated. I think we'll uh, wrap this one up here. Remember to sleep somewhere amazing tonight. And bye, I suppose. And thank you for watching. Oh yeah, that bit as well. <laughs>